Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is me Hassan Slim. So today now we're gonna cover the further reminding tools. So just open your Visual Studio 2013 or 2015 whatever. I just gonna make a new project, new project, okay. Name is tooltip. <coughs> what is the purpose of tooltip? It's a guiding tip. Whenever you, s you sometimes you see whenever we hover or hover on any button or label or a links, they guide us with a certain message. Here you can see if in the Visual Studio, whenever I hover, it's showing me for total notification. The for total notification is the tooltip. We can use this tooltip in our Windows form application. So today our topic is how to use tooltip okay. and we will learn about their properties. You can use the tooltip by you dragging uh, by dragging from there. Uh, yep. Where's the tooltip? Yeah, here's the tooltip. It's showing you the tooltip. Or uh, let me show you the but let me create two buttons. Control C and Y. I just gonna set its name or text. I just write there. Start. And I name it. Exit. Okay. I just gonna. I just move to the code section. Here, I create a tooltip object TP is equal to new tooltip. Yeah. What? the okay now here you can see I need now I need to set the tooltip tp dot set tooltip here I need to pass the first of all I need to pass the reference on which button label or form I just want to show the tooltip for example the name of the button a here is button 1 this name of the button is button 1 I write the uh, button 1 because I just want to show the message on button 1 here I write the message that I want to display on the mouse hover I write click to start the program I terminate this and now start the program Here you can see it showing you the message click to start the program. It's showing nothing, no, none of the tooltip over there because I didn't set any of the tooltip on button 2. Now for the button 2 I'm I'm gonna use this tooltip that I've dragged over there and the name of this tooltip is tooltip 1. You can use either the tooltip from dragging there or by creating the object of the class. Now I just write tooltip one dot set tooltip on button two. Here I write click to terminate the program. All right, now I start the program. 
click to start the program and now here click to terminate the program hope you understand what is the purpose of tooltip now let's discuss about the little bit more about the tooltip using this here's the properties of tooltip you can either control it through windows or through coding i am using it in windows properties just go right click on this and properties right over there the properties now I can select the tooltip icon I just set the warning icon and start the program here you can see the warning icon also displayed with the tooltip I can even set the title of the tooltip here the tooltip title I can set it exit now when I start the program is showing me exit and the below message click to terminate the program you can also pass the variable of you can also pass the string variable or integer variable but you have to convert it to string if you want to pass an other type of variable instead of string if I copy that I just remove that now I just create string message all right now i type message is equal to click to terminate the program i also write integer x is equal to 100 suppose if this time one I want to show the both of the message concatenatively over there so what can I do I just put message plus x to string I just convert the x which is an integer format to string format so now when I click on the start button here you can see click to terminate the program 100 100 is the integer value which is converted to string and here is the simple value which we use by creating the object hope you understand what the purpose of tooltip so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe thank you